Hello and welcome. I'm Dave Hall and I'm uh, the Forestry Grounds Superintendent uh, here at the Village of Mount Prospect. So my job along with my staff is to care for the more than 25,000 parkway trees that we have along the streets in our village. I'm very happy to be here at St. Paul to so help celebrate Arbor Day 2022. Um, it's really good to be back with a full school. We haven't done this since 2019 uh, because of you know some limitations that with uh, COVID and whatnot. So it's just really great to see a full school back out here and be participating with us once again. This is a tradition that started in Mount Prospect in 1985. It's been a while since we've had our Arbor Day here with St. Paul. The last time that we did we did it here was in 2012. So at that time we actually planted a tulip tree which is just two trees right down there by the big uh, lift gate truck. So you can see how, how great that tree is established and grown. And hopefully we have the same success with this here today. Um, so here to celebrate our, our 30th, uh, 38th uh, Arbor Day here, we have uh, uh, Mayor Hofer here with us today. We have uh, trustees uh, Sacatelli, uh, Gins, um, your principal, uh, Mrs. Hines, uh, uh, Pastor Brower. Um, so at this time, um, I would like to uh, have your principal, Mrs. Hines, come up and take it from here. Thank you. Good morning. I am so glad to see all of you, and I'm so glad it's not raining on, on all of us. On behalf of the faculty, staff, students, families here at St. Paul, we welcome all of our neighbors, distinguished guests, and everyone else, and the neighbors who can probably hear us in their living rooms as well. Um, the t-shirts that many of our kiddos are wearing have a logo and a mission on it, and our mission is um, called to faith, equipped to love, and sent to serve that's right and we want to continue to be a part of this amazing village in this community this neighborhood and to always serve our neighbors so today we hope that you enjoy the great serving of song and poetry that our students are going to serve up to this our community so we welcome you And good morning again, everyone, and happy Arbor Day. My name is Peter Brower. I'm one of the pastors here at St. Paul. And once again, on behalf of everyone here, uh, welcome. We are honored to be a part of this day with our village and to celebrate Arbor Day as people who believe that this world we are in, with all of its natural beauty, including our trees, that this is all a gift from God that we respect and give thanks for and celebrate. We are honored to be able to do that with all of you today. So once again, thank you for being he here today. Happy Arbor Day. And at this time, we're going to invite William to come forward to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And so if you're sitting, I might ask you to stand as we uh, pledge your allegiance to the flag. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right now, we are so excited to welcome St. Paul's preschool students who are going to um, do a little number for us called Trees Are Growing. So focus your attention right down here in front for our preschool students. The 
trees are growing far. The trees are growing far. With soil like rain and sunny day, the trees are growing far. We thank you, God, for trees. We thank you, God, for trees. For soil and rain and sunny day, we thank you, God, for trees. Thank you, preschoolers. You did a great job. Can you sit back down now? Well done. Next, um, we have our kindergarten first and second graders who are going to perform for you Trees, Trees, Trees. Trees can be short, trees can be tall, whatever kind. Love them all. They give us oxygen. They give us air. We give them love. We give them care. We take care of each as if they were our own. From when they're and feelings to fully grown. From berry to cherry. From apples to grapes. Gardeners, first and second graders. And next, we are going to welcome our third graders who are going to get to come up onto the stage and they will be performing some original tree poems. Third grade read the book, Have You Seen Trees? by Joanne Oppenheim. Then using verbs, a syllable, pattern, and adjectives, we created our own poems about trees. Have you seen trees? Flying trees, plain trees, basketball, basket trees. I like the pink leafy trees. Have you seen trees? Blowing trees, running trees, little pretty blue trees. I like the tall color for trees. Have you seen trees? Laughing trees, swaying trees, red, orange, yellow, brown trees. I like the purple red trees. Have you seen trees? Skipping trees, horse riding trees, popcorn does not drop trees. I like the tall fat trees. Have you seen trees? Falling trees, running trees, red, blue, and purple trees. I like the blue soft trees. Have you seen trees? Laughing trees, swaying trees, American flag trees. I like the soft pink trees. Have you seen trees? Jumping trees, swaying trees, very, very cool trees. I like the big, small trees. Have you seen trees? Cocomelon trees, eating trees, telekinesis trees. I like the biggest, fattest trees. <laughs> Have you seen trees? Swaying trees, growing trees, George Washington French trees. I like the peaceful, swinging trees. Have you seen trees? Crying trees, laughing trees, well, these are cool too trees. I like big, fat trees. Have you seen trees? Glowing trees, jumping trees, show Mrs. Riddle trees. I like the fun jumping trees. Thank you very much, third grade, for those original poems telling us you love trees. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Hall. All right, thank you. That was uh, that was some great uh, some great poems you guys gave us. Really appreciate that, and thank you for all the students' uh, presentations. That was great. Um, so to explain a little bit of the history of Arbor Day uh, and how this came to be uh, this day, and it actually began in 1872 when a guy named Jay Sterling Morton had moved from Michigan with his family 
out west. It was actually in the western half of Nebraska. When he got out there, the first thing that he noticed, there wasn't nearly as many trees as he was accustomed to back east. So he thought, you know, what can we do about this? And he proposed a plan. What if we plan a day for pl tree planting trees? He started this with uh, some local schools. It expanded throughout the state. And this is what um, was the start of what Arbor Day has become here today. So we celebrate Arbor Day uh, every year, the last Friday in April, like we're doing here today. Um, Arbor Day is very important because it gives us a day to recognize the importance of trees in our community. It seems that there's always a threat to the urban forest, uh, but with planning, uh, we're able to prepare ourselves, minimize the losses, and continue to plant and move on. We lose trees for a number of reasons, sometimes disease, sometimes insects, sometimes storms. Uh, and with the age of our community, sometimes we lose, tre lose trees that have just lived as long as they can in an urban environment. But even with this, we continue and move forward. In fact, for the past few years, uh, we've planted more trees than have been removed, and this is a trend that we plan to continue. So we've already done about, when, once the spring's over, we have done about 350 trees, and when our fall planting is over, we will have done more than 600 trees this year. So that's a, a good addition to our, to our forest. Thank you. <laughs> Arbor Day is important because it gives us a chance to look at these replacement trees as the future of the urban forest with hope that they will grow and fill the voids that have been left behind by the, by the trees that have been removed. This is important if we want to continue to have the tree-lined streets that we're accustomed to here in Mount Prospect. The trees that we plant and take care of are actually giving the village environmental benefits that are worth far more than the cost of planting and maintaining these trees. So why do we need trees? I'm sure uh, you students have been going over this the past few weeks uh, leading up to Arbor Day, uh, but here are a few of the reasons and benefits that uh, trees provide. Shade, oxygen, beauty, uh, slowing down stormwater runoff, uh, holding soil and keeping it in place from blowing away, filtering air pollution, provide food and nesting habitat for wildlife, among many others. Because of the forestry program, we received again this year the Tree City USA Award, and this is the 37th year in a row that uh, we have received it here at the Village of Mount Prospect. It is also uh, the 16th year that we received the TCU Growth Award. So in addition to our, our Tree City Award, we did uh, get an extra award for our growth, which is essentially because of our continuing to build, add to, and bolster our urban forestry program. So um, the Arbor Day Foundation is an organization in Nebraska uh, where Arbor Day started and they have these awards for people who make the commitment to care for those trees after planting. It's not just enough to put a tree in the ground and leave it. You have to water it, mulch it, prune it, and make sure that it thrives. So to encourage this, the Arbor Day Foundation gives the Tree City Award to cities who meet certain requirements, having an Arbor Day ceremony such as we're doing here today, uh, a mayoral proclamation of Arbor Day, uh, a department legally responsible for the care of trees, such as your public works, and a comprehensive program for caring for the urban forest. You can probably imagine that it costs a lot of money to take care of the more than 25,000 trees, and that doesn't happen unless we have a mayor and uh, trustees uh, that are willing to find the necessary funds to do this. We've been fortunate in Mount Prospect that our mayors and trustees have traditionally been supportive of the forestry grounds program and I know they recognize the value of trees to Mount Prospect so at, time, at this time I'd like to ask Mayor Hofert to accept this year's Tree City USA plaque and offer him my thanks for his ongoing support. everybody. Good morning. I'm Paul Hofert. I'm the mayor of Mount Prospect and I've lived here for 40 years and actually I've been a neighbor of St. Paul Lutheran for 40 years. We just live in the next block. Um, both my sons went to preschool here and next year my little granddaughter Ellie she's going to preschool here so 
this is a, a great church community and very valuable to our entire community of Mount Prospect, so we thank you. You're probably wondering, normally when I come to an event, I have a suit and tie on real formal, right? But what are we doing today? We're planting a tree. So I put on my blue jeans and my Carter jacket so I can get a little dirty and uh, plant a tree, right? So, um, one other little fun fact that you guys may not know, many of you may not know, but our very first mayor of Mount Prospect went to St. Paul Lutheran, uh, William Bussey. And um, he went here his entire life uh, until he passed away. So, uh, St. Paul has had a, a big part of uh, Mount Prospect for many, many years. So, no no, I guarantee no long speeches today, just a lot of fun facts and some questions for you guys. So, today is Arbor Day. I call that Tree Celebration Day, right? This is the day worldwide where we celebrate trees and the importance of those trees to our world, not just here in Mount Prospect, but all around the globe, all around the globe. So how many countries do you think celebrate Arbor Day? 100? No, it's actually 45 countries around the globe you may think it's just a, a, a holiday in the United States, but it's actually all around the globe, 45 countries. How many trees do you think exist on planet Earth? Say it. How many? A lot? Well, it is a lot. It's 350 trillion, with a T, trees around the world. And by a survey, what do you think is the most important tree or mo the favorite tree of all people? The mighty oak. The mighty oak is the favorite tree. All right, so now Arbor Day is set aside as a day to plant new trees like we're going to do, as well as bring awareness to conserving trees and forests and uh, so that we don't do harm to our environment, right? So people plant lots of different trees to create what's called tree diversity. Why do you need tree diversity? Because if you had all the same kind of tree and trees got sick or they died, they would all die and we would lose the benefit of those trees. So by creating diversity, you, you never lose all your trees. You might lose one here or there, but you never lose all the benefits. How many different types of trees do you think there are? A hundred? Multiply that by a hundred. There are a hundred thousand different trees. So you can see we can create a lot of diversity. Now our, the Arbor Day Foundation was founded in 1972 and it has one million members. And those million members have planted over, they planted over 350 million trees throughout the world since 1972. That's, that's a lot of trees. What are some of the benefits to humans and to our environment for trees. And we heard a few of them already. Anybody know some benefits? Shout it out. All right. They're coming at me fast and furious. So trees provide shade, right? Everybody enjoys shade in the hot summer day. Do you know that when you're under a tree that's fully leafed out, it's 10 degrees cooler underneath that tree than it is on top of that tree. So what does that mean? When you plant trees around your school building or around your house, you reduce your energy costs, you conserve energy, right? How about, you, you already heard that they produce oxygen. So they take in carbon dioxide, that's what we breathe out, and they breathe out oxygen. And why is that important? Because that's what we breathe, right? That's what we breathe. So they breathe in what we breathe out, we breathe in what they breathe out. So an acre of trees in a forest produces enough oxygen to, for 18 people to breathe for an entire year. That's why trees are really important, because without them, we can't breathe. And 20% of, um, of the oxygen on the earth comes from the Amazon rainforest. And you've all heard how the Amazon rainforest is being cut down from time to time. We have to preserve those big forests. They provide food, right? Trees provide food through berries, through everybody loves apples, right? You love apple pie? And nuts, that all comes from trees. Also, you heard Mr. Hull say that they preserve the dirt, right? 
So back in the 1930s, there was a thing called the Dust Bowl. Now you think, though, that dirt, that's heavy. That could never wash away or blow away. Well, back in the 1930s, they cut down all the trees in, in the center part of, of the United States, and a huge wind came and blew all the dirt away. So by having trees, they hold, the root systems hold that dirt in place so that it doesn't blow away. Trees also uh, support good health because studies show that when you sit under a tree, um, you relax. So this summer, I want you all to sit under a tree, look up at that tree, maybe even fall asleep, but relax and just enjoy life. So keep this in mind too. Trees don't just help humans. They help all wildlife. Most of what we talked about today about benefits of trees also benefits wildlife, right? From the smallest beetles to the most colorful butterflies to the majestic owls and bobcats, trees are essential to their survival too. So what's the best way to, ce to celebrate Arbor Day, guys? Plant a tree. Plant a tree. Then you watch that tree grow and you watch it mature. And someday when you're my age and you come back to St. Paul Lutheran, you're going to see the tree that you planted. But it's going to be huge in those in that future time right and you're going to remember that you were a part of it so i'm going to leave you with this you have to take care of your earth guys because we only have one earth to take care of so thank you all for being here today Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, Mayor, for that. That was really uh, fun, bunch of facts, inspiring, huh? Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna move into the uh, planting ceremony portion of our Arbor Day here. So what I'd like to do at this time is if I could have uh, the people from uh, stage uh, come down and we'll, we'll uh, for forestry foreman Bill Kroll will be over here to assist with the uh, with the ceremonial shovel, so thanks, Bill, and we'll get this uh, we'll get this started. So we have uh, Mayor Hofer. Sit on your bottom. Like he said, he's probably going to want to do a bunch of scoops because he came to work today. So. <laughs> Trustee Gins. Trustee Sacatelli. Pastor Brower. Uh, we have our Garden Club representative, uh, Terry Soroslowski. And Principal Hines. All right, thank you. So we'll have the forestry grounds guys uh, finish up this planting after Paws puts the scoop in. Great job, Paws. So I did want to just thank the school, the staff, uh, Principal Hines for hosting this event here with us today. Uh, you guys did a really good job with your pres presentations. Um, so we really appreciate the, the time and effort that everybody uh, uh, put, put into this. And I would like to thank uh, uh, Howard uh, Kleinstein and Steve Martini for coming out and filming today. So if everybody wants to find uh, Steve and uh, Howard with those cameras, give them a big uh, wave and shout. Thanks, guys. I like to thank the uh, Garden Club uh, for for coming out and also for uh, donating uh, towards uh, the purchase of the Arbor Day tree. So big hand for the Garden Club. And I also wanted to make an announcement. 
that uh, coming up here in a couple Saturdays on May 14th, we are uh, uh, having a Public Works open house. And this is something that we haven't done in a couple years. So we're really looking forward to having this. It's a Saturday, May 14th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you get a chance, please come out and stop by and see how your, how your Public Works works. And then I will turn it over to Principal Hines. Uh, thanks a lot. Once again, on behalf of St. Paul and everyone connected to it, I want to say thanks so much for coming out today. We pray that this community, this tree, and this um, village will continue to flourish and that we will all grow um, together. As a very wise person once said, we sit in the shade of trees that we did not plant. And we hope that that is true of this tree as well, that ages and ages from now, people that we don't even know, people that aren't even born yet, will sit in the shade of this tree that we planted today. So thank you all for coming, and thank you Mount Prospect for having this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.